Welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel's Good Talk Radio and Arizona Talk Radio special presentation on love and relationships. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to our second edition of Love and Relationships. Mm -hmm. And we got Lisa and Helen and Derek and myself today. Yep. And uh, I, I think I got their name of their show down. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's Lisa and Helen Talk Relationships. Yep. Is that right? Did I yes. say it right? And yes. Uh, yes. our show is Arizona Talk Radio. <laughs> think about that. <laughs> and so we're doing a little team effort, and this is part two yep. and three, in a sense. Yep, basically. Because at, at the end of the hour, we have to take a brief little 30-second stop. We're not sh shutting off the show. But um, we have to edit this show, split it in half, in order to syndicate it to the radio stations. Yep. So bear with us. At the first hour, you'll see us take a quick 30-second break mm -hmm. when I tell them take a break. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we'll turn it back on, and that'll be kind of like part three. So yep. it's actually a part two and three. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, girls? <laughs> Absolutely. We got it. Yep. Yep. So um, uh, can you turn on the... Uh, we got to do a quick little test on there to see if there's an echo when they're talking. Okay. Uh, we're trying a, a little new piece of equipment. Can you girls just say hello real quick? Hello. Hello, hello everybody. Hello. Yeah, I don't hear it. It's hello. not going on there, so it's not playing. Oh, that's not good. Maybe Hi, Mr. Right Universe. How are you? <laughs> well, it shows it's playing. Yeah, so, um, it's just not playing on. Okay, so... Uh, we're just doing a little sound check. If somebody's on the chat, can you uh, verify that you're hearing the um, uh, ladies on the uh, Skype real quick? And uh, so, by the way, is it how's how's the weather over in uh, Florida right now? It is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Cannot complain. So sorry. What's, what's the what's so, your highs? Sorry, what's sorry. your highs today? Um, we're in the eighties. Oh, that is nice. Low 80s. Because yeah, we're in the hundreds. <laughs> yeah. You're not getting really? sound over there. No. -uh. The hotter, the microphone. better. Huh. No, no. Yeah, no, no. I don't yeah, think so. Yeah, absolutely. No, no, really. No. So, no. What's no. It? so uh, <laughs> Nick? Hey, Mick. Mick, can you hear uh, the girls okay on the Skype? We just, before we get the dialogue going, we want to verify it. Yeah. And is, or <laughs> Cassie and Mark, can you guys hear everything? Okay, they hear everything. Okay, okay. Okay. Cool. We're just double checking. Little, yeah, we just got a little change in the equipment here. And we yep. just want to double check. So today is relationships too. Yep. And yes. uh, yeah, by golly, and we have a lot. I know you have a. Lot. You guys have like notebooks of stuff to talk about. Oh yeah. Yes. And so they put yes, us to do. shame because yep. you know us guys, we just go yeah. No, it's all up here. Yeah. It's all up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only thing is, is my no notebook is about three feet away, so I'm going to take off my headset and go get it. Go get so it. Take no a look at my refrigerator. All right, this is our time um, to talk about Helen dusty. when she leaves. Be right yeah, back. Get ready to talk about Helen when she leaves. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Did you notice you know, her roots are showing? You know oh, that's Helen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Helen's yeah. roots are showing. Totally can see the roots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's back. She's back. She's going to kill us. <laughs> There's don't, nothing like being don't prepared. Don't tell Helen I what I just said. Oh, I, I know. Do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She'll what have to watch the show over to find out what we what said. What did she do? What did nothing. she do? We just did tell nothing. me now. We were I'm just find patiently, out anyway. We were just patiently waiting. Yep, yep. Yep. I didn't well, say you know anything what? about your roots. Ne neither did I. Neither did I. I didn't say anything. I don't even know what those are. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you guys started it. Oh, you, you guys brought up my roots. That that's bad juju. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. That was, don't you uh, be talking about my roots. Lisa I'll did it. Lisa right did it. Yeah. Blame it on blame Listen, it on Cinder. Guys, wow. <laughs> we were talking about your roots, where you live, not your hair. <laughs> so okay. to, so today, um, yes. Who wants to start? Uh, ladies first, always, always. I agree. We're gentlemen. Yep. So, we'll let you guys start our conversation today about love and relationships. What do we wow. want to start with? Okay. Uh, well, I'll go first. Uh, I'm so <laughs> I wish like, you would. Helen's she's got gonna, something. Yeah, she's going to get something even cooking. with us. Yep. I told you not to talk she's about got something on her mind, I can tell. Yes. I always have something on my, that little mind. Um, <laughs> last night, uh, at our LOA meeting, we talked about online dating. And we talked about this uh, at length. Uh, yesterday, but uh, 
a lot of people seem to get a lot of women because the majority of the meeting was women they seem to get um, a little disheartened that men just want to see um, their they have to see their a woman's appearance first before getting to know somebody yeah. and I kind of agreed with them that that kind of stinks because what if you take a crummy picture and I had a very talented photographer there last night that said um, her name is Joanne hi Joanne uh, that you have to make an investment in yourself if you want to meet somebody mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people just were not buying it because I don't know about you but when I've been online dating I've gotten a really good picture and I never did a selfie or the duck face or anything like that yeah and right. you know we talked about it yesterday Derek you said it that you know um, it really is visual for a man and yeah. I would like to continue that conversation because I found it very fascinating last night that you know women were starting to feel like oh gee you know if I'm not a size two like you Lisa um, <laughs> you're a zero I know I know my dress sizes um, yes you are really but the thing is is you the duck face or anything like that sorry Ooh, your phone's on Ooh. That was no, me. No, it's not. That was me. He's just double checking. Yep, I was just checking our sound. Okay. But, but, but the thing is, is, sure. you know, it gets a little disheartening um, for women. And, you know, all the guys are is about visual. And it made the guys look superficial and made the girls look like biatches. Yeah. Um, that's the problem with so, online dating is that because it is only kind of visual and... Yeah. and, and you, you but you don't want it. somebody to look like an unmade bed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I, yeah. I guess I wouldn't say that. And I think you kind of agree with this, Derek. Is you, you don't really like the online dating um, programs. You tend to want to use like grocery stores and yeah, and organizations and clubs or whatever. Uh, yeah. Well, when I was younger, when I was in my twenties and teens, yeah, I would have been all about it. But we, I didn't really use that. But um, I think as you get older, you know, the online dating thing is, you know looks kind of nice but uh there's two different things there's one to hook up and one to actually date and get to know somebody so um but when in terms of pictures like the real thing's always the best obviously but you can also do a little trickery with photography and make someone look way more beautiful than they are so i mean it goes both ways but guys are a vi we're visual big time so it's that's how we know if the attractions there and that's where it begins but um have, go ahead have have uh lisa i don't think lisa has um i'll ask you derek have, have you ever done speed dating uh i've had friends that have done it but uh, i've been at a bar watching it happen <laughs> and it is uh -huh. Ridiculous! I just everybody's nervous. Everybody's just blah 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 blah, trying to fill in the space with just like constant nonsense. But um, it's uh, pretty interesting uh, to say the least. But it's a great way to meet people as long as you're able to do it and be yourself. But uh, I I would never do it. Yeah, no, you don't have enough time. You don't have enough time to get to know somebody. How how many like how many minutes? I think you maybe have two or three minutes. It, it was such a long time ago that yeah. that's when I did it. But it's like, hi, how are you? What do you do? Nice to meet you. Okay, what are your hobbies? Okay, fine. Uh, the, uh, and you really do have to rush it through. Um, it's an elevator pitch. You don't page. remember. Yeah. You don't remember. Uh, I mean, you just go right to, because you don't have enough time. You should just go right to, like, you know, what do you do? How much are you worth? <laughs> that's really, I mean, that's really what it comes down to. It's like, what do you do for okay. a living? Yeah. yeah, where you work. Yeah. yeah. Where do you, you have any arrests? Yeah, like exactly. What's your criminal record look like? Ah, yeah. eh, an assault's not too bad. Wait, who'd you hit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's true, too. But, but um, I, I found it uh, interesting, and I didn't take it seriously. So um, I had a uh, an attitude, you, you know, it was so long ago, uh, of letting go, of not really caring. Yeah. So I went there with the uh, who cares attitude, and I did really well. That's because exactly right. a lot right, of the yeah. women, you know, it. I think it starts to sound like a job interview. Where do you want to be in five years? Yeah, it's repetitive. Yeah, like, do, yeah. do you have children? Yep. How long are you divorced? Do you take you know, notes? I, like, I'm, I'm you curious can, about this. You can take notes, but what you do is, as when you get up, you either check yes or no that you'd want to hear from them, and the 
checking has to be mutual. The guy has to want to meet you and you have to want to meet them again. Do but you have their name sliding, or are they a number? Yeah. No, you have their name. Man number one. He's <laughs> yeah, like a, he number. has like a, like, like it's a, a, a running well, can you just, or something with a number on their back. Can you yeah, reach over is, and just if go? You both wanna, if you both want to meet each other, you know, uh, get together, it has yeah. to be a mutual yes. It can't be one side yes, one side no. So, but well, I if one side was yes, then yeah. if, if one side was yes and the other was no, like somebody's dragging somebody somewhere. Yeah. To me, it it's boring. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's. I think I would reach over and go, hey, do you mind if I kiss you? And that's how we're going to find out if there's attraction there. And just kind of go from there. Boom, oh, done. You just go right into yeah, it. Why, why yeah, why skip the BS and let's go to a kiss. Let's get this stuff going. You know what I mean? You like, geez, why, why sit here and BS with you? I'm attracted to you. I'm going to kiss you. Boom. Wow, there's a connection. Let's go from here. Keep it smart. Keep it simple. I'd be like, who do you think you are? Yep, How exactly. Bad? I will, of course, yeah. I'm going to ask, hey, do you mind if I kiss? And then you just go on. There you go. Boom. Sometimes Start the gutsy ones like that. Good for you. Yes. A woman okay. is going to be like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Boom. I want yeah. it. But, you know, respectfully, I would say, hey, do you mind if I kiss you? There we go. Yeah. And if you get a no, you go. You go on to the next one. <laughs> Boom. How do you? How do you feel, Derek? Yeah. And that's it. I don't want to get off topic, you know, with, with Helen's uh, question, but how do you feel about a woman being, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I just lost it. The aggressor. Oh, I love the it. The aggressor. Freaking love it. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> that's uh, that's sexy. I mean, what guy doesn't like that? That's great. But, I mean, just once in a while. Obviously, not all the time. Guy's always yeah. in control. Guy's handling business. Take care of business, but sometimes it's good when the girl kind of gets uh, a little creative, does some new stuff. I think that mm -hmm. is remarkable. You're sitting on the couch and she just pounces on you. Thumbs up. I twice. love it. Twice. <laughs> love if it. I had what a third. You... <laughs> there we go. Hey, Derek, what yeah. Would you, what would you term as too aggressive, though? Uh, uh, I mean, spanking's great, light choking's fun, but I. <gasps> Bounce. I'm learning a lot today in 15 minutes. Wow. Yes, I'm talking. But the the whips and chains. What's that called? S and uh, there's a word. S and M. &M. What's it called? S and M. Derek, there's, I'll help okay. you out with that one. Thank yes. you. That stuff is that gets a little bit too crazy. But if you do it, you know, I mean, I'm not into all that whips and chains and crazy things. Uh, it's but a little late. The cat's out of the bag. Hey, yeah. goodness. <laughs> let me tell you, all women love a little bit. Of fun, rough playtime. Without a no, doubt. It's true. No, they do. No, they do. No, they do. Small potatoes. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it, it's the truth. Not uh -huh. all the time, but sometimes. No, small potatoes. <laughs> you don't think so, Helen? Oh, man. Oh. Uh, <sighs> Maybe it's an Arizona thing. <laughs> no, it's a New York thing, too. Yeah. Hey, hey, Amen. So. Huh? <laughs> Well, me and Lisa were on the same page. Yeah, me and, me and Helen are going, who? Yeah, it's, I just want to say up to some people, say hello to some people. Zach, what's up? He's hey, listening. Zach. He's saying some stuff. He's, uh, he's, he's, <laughs> Zach says it's, he's, it's always awkward, to be honest. Most girls say, why would you ask? It's too much games. But uh, controlling, it's too much when the female can be submissive and always wants the control. Yeah, I guess mom so. Mom is listening. Yeah, what's wow. up, mom? Behave yourselves. Oh no, Hi, my mom. mom's so cool. Yeah, she is. Hi Zach. Hi Zach. How you doing? You guys hey, roll. Zach, how you doing? What's up, Karen? What's up, uh, wow. Cassie and Mark? And uh, holy moly! Thank you, everybody, for showing funny, up. Sorry yeah. to interrupt you guys, but yeah, and you got please bring the comments yeah, in. Yeah, thank you. This com so uh, oh, <laughs> it's kind of like two generations well, I, there. I, I would love to talk about uh, sexual preferences, but oh. I'm not. But um, I, I think that's very interesting. But I think you know, kind of uh, slow and steady wins the race, if you know what I mean. I hear you. So just, that's what they call uh, me, Mister Universe. Yeah, Rob. <laughs> it's situational. Can I, I mean? Can I give an example? And I won't be yes. like, okay, so wow. for instance, in the morning, like you're, you're with your significant other, you're getting ready for work and you just want real quick, hence you do something, three minute fun, just bam, and then go straight to work. That is <laughs> three sexy. Minutes? Whatever, just as fast as you can because you're rushing. That's all I mean by that. That's, I'm not putting a time limit. That's how you 
start your day. Yes, you're starting it off with the foot. Stop. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Three it's, minutes? Yeah, well, you know what I mean. I'm saying <laughs> quick. I'm saying that quick. That moment. I'm just, you're both getting ready for work. Yes, you exactly. Be like, you know, an yep. hour. Because she's got her sexy, you know, gear on. You're getting ready for work. And you just turn and look at her and you're like, oh, she's beautiful. I'm just going to tackle her and throw her on the bed and or wherever. And three minutes. <laughs> Don't focus on the three minutes. Focus on the actual thing that's going on. I'm just teasing you. It's just too much fun. Aaron would like to define rough play. I'm working on it, Helen. Maybe three and a half minutes. <laughs> but you get the drift. Yeah. But that stuff's fun. It's it's so much fun. It is you fun. gotta you gotta. It is fun. Absolutely. Yeah. But I have to be honest. Now, obviously, you might be a morning person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I am semi-coherent in the morning. Yeah. And, you know. Even after my that? My sweet honey. Oh. <laughs> Rob. No, then I want to go to sleep. Then I'm happy. Then I'm like, oh, let me go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See? There's like, never a right yeah. time, right? Absolutely. But, but I am not. Um, I really have to be woken up. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. And There's a, so when you know you go to the gym, you got to kind of stretch out and warm up. I get that, you know. <laughs> and then then well, you then can that start. Would be, that would be very. It would be like a sensual. Yeah, start. sensual. Sensual. That's right. Your morning. Yes, but that could. You just need to extend the morning and call in work and say, "Hey, I'm going to be a little bit late." Because I'll tell you what, every guy would. <laughs> <laughs> we should. We should give Helen some homework. <laughs> this is like over my head. I don't, think, I don't think Helen needs homework. I think she knows that she <laughs> she's just quiet. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to go off topic and uh, get a little descriptive. Oh, I thought this was very interesting. I yeah. think we're going to have a great show. Oh man, yeah, boy, hey, you guys um, are letting your yeah. hair down. See, I don't have any yeah. hair, so I can't let it down. Just want to say hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom watching? Oh yes! Oh Lord. Lord! Oh man! This I is am so fine, sorry. We're really, we're really nice girls. Yeah, we're, this is no, really my mom's very fun. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> very very shy. No, she's very cool. Shy and retiring. She is. So, um, Karen yeah. Swalling does have a question. She says, Karen, "Define talk to us. rough play." What's going on? So define oh, rough play for her. Define rough play. Whoa. Yeah. Well, I kind of got into it. I mean, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Um, do you want me to? Okay. So I don't worry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Spanking. Awesome. Uh, yes. light light hair choking pulling. light choking hair pulling. it hair pulling awesome light choking intenses the uh, the the o face gasm <laughs> also um, kind of throwing them around you know like okay you throw them on the bed you know you don't ask. tie them up tying them up that's fun um, uh, all sorts doing it and you know not it doesn't have to be on the bed all the time go anywhere right. be an exhibitionist go outside go do something you know go somewhere the different car. the car make it make it fun and make it creative yeah and a uh, role playing that's fun dressing up that's fun <laughs> i love it yeah but uh rough play can only be Look at rough not play. no not <laughs> Karen goes, okay, Mr. Gray. No, this is not. I hate that movie, by the way. Way I was, to go, Karen. <laughs> but, uh, no, but this is. Fifty Shades of Derek. We have yeah, no, Fifty no. Shades of Orange today. I'm telling you, this is this is how it should be. You put up my favorite color. I did. You yeah, said yeah. you wanted orange. This I put is, orange up. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Go ahead. That's Lisa's favorite. What, what's Helen's favorite color? You Aqua, didn't... I'm I'm drinking out of it. I've got okay. Helen's favorite color. You don't believe me, do you? Just a sec. Watch. Da -da -da -da. Let's see if da -da -da. I got the right color. How's that? Give it a second. Could you guys? This has. A... There's a delay. There's a delay. This is like it's changing yeah. colors in a minute for you. Oh, so Helen gets her color now? No, <laughs> we're gonna that. go back. I like oh, the orange. The orange seems sister. more of love you know, and really. Um, well, we're really dragging, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, Eric right. Eric Koppelman, Eric Martin Koppelman has the Castellani sisters uh, come out, and that's uh, Lisa and myself. And maybe they might uh, stop by and say hello for you if things get a little out of hand. Oh, thank God! Yes, the cat. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so I put us back yeah, to okay. orange, and in the. Tell him I said Boy, hello. Part good, three will be blue. Lisa. How's your coffee? My coffee is delightful. Mm -hmm. What'd you say, Rob? 
just changing the, the background. Uh, Bob's just changing the background. Yeah, so we're we're using orange for hour one and blue for hour two. Okay. 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 So that way they're both. Uh, yeah. Uh, aqua. 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 Yes. Get that right. Yes. So now, Derek, are I you currently on? Go ahead. No. Go ahead, sweetie. Go no, ahead. No, no, no. I want to know. Go ahead. <laughs> Helen, your questions are great. Go for it. Yes. I forgot. <laughs> I lost it. You know, you know what happened. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we know you wrote it down. Bye-bye. We know no, you wrote it down. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Lee. <laughs> are you, speaking of online dating, are you currently on? No, I don't do online dating. I just... Uh, you don't. You don't like it. Yeah, nah. That's right. You said that yesterday. Yeah. Okay. And the only reason I'm saying this is because I have courage and I'm not afraid to walk up to a girl and say, what's up? Grocery right. store. Yeah. yeah. Grocery stores, libraries. Produce. It goes Produce. to the yeah. store a lot. Yeah. I'm a t- I talked about I, the melons yesterday. Yeah. I actually... Yeah, that's better melons. than a bar. Yeah. Bar's the worst I place to do. find somebody. I mean, you... What you, I mean, you're going to get what you're looking for, I'll tell you what, because all those good girls are going to say nope, and you're going to get that one girl that's always in the bar hanging out, and uh, yeah, she'll definitely have some fun, but uh, at the same time, you're getting the crazy with the... Uh, Go to Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks, coffee shops are great to meet people, for mm-hmm. sure. I've hmm. met I've met guys in the bookstore. I like that. Yeah, I mean, that's because you, I mean, that's a great place too, honestly. Barnes yeah. & Noble, lots of beautiful mm-hmm. people in there, you yeah. know. I, um... Me, Danny and I went to school together, and I was his second grade crush all the nice. way up to sixth grade. Oh, did he never told you that, did he? No, I, well, I knew it. I, you know, I just never gave him the time of day. Back then, I was very, very shy. Gotcha, like, that's gotcha. no joke. I was shy. You're just friends and, and stuff. And uh, I, I ignored him. Like, you know, he would always stare at me, and you know, we would talk very little. And actually, back then, when we were 10 years old, my aunt dated his uncle oh, gotcha. and wow. um, talk about a small circle yes and he he i think he thought he had an in he's like my yeah. my my uncle's dating her aunt blah blah yeah. blah and um we use what we his, can get his uncle passed away in a car accident oh um, sorry to hear sadly that. Yeah. around that time but uh and i actually i think that they would have still been together had gotcha. not um which you know it, it, it is what it is, you know, it's sad. We got but, some, uh, we got some he, comments he, right here. Ooh, this is a long, do you mind if I say it? Yeah. Okay. Is this one from Zach? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Rob. Yeah. Rob Hicks, how you doing, man? <laughs> um, Zach said, haha, I think social media has taken over the natural attractions to one and another. You need to shut off the social media and really connect. I agree, Derek, but the fun play is great only for a short time, but it gets boring real quick if there isn't a deep connection. Um, good point. Yeah. Having similar hobbies and actually good conversation uh, is what he's saying. He hates first dates and carrying the conversation. He feels like he always has to carry the conversation on a first date with, uh, and he goes on lots of dates. But he says the grocery store. See, I told you, meet them in the grocery store so you know they can cook. <laughs> that's, true. Good point. that's true. That's true. I mean, yeah. Hey, There's Zach, that's great sexier, feedback. Though. Hey, Zach. Yeah, There's Zach, listen. Nothing sexier than a man who will cook, who likes to cook, and cooks well. Yep. Yes. That's Rob's got that. True. I got that one. I'm that a good cook, I too. got that covered. Yeah. Rob's got that covered. That's right. <laughs> great, Do great. Do you cook, Rob? Oh, yeah. The I'm trigger. the trigger man. Yeah. yeah. I even yeah. make videos of cooking. Yeah, he's got some good videos. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm a kept man. right now, actually. You are Thanks, kept. Yes. Thanks I'm, a lot. I'm Sherry's I'm bitch. Rob is Sherry's cabana boy. Yep. That's that, me. That's an, uh, knows how to cook too. Yep. And chef. When you get kept man, you gotta cook. You gotta cook. And yeah. You, you gotta cook. And and I got a vacuum too. That's all right. Yeah, I just pushed the button though. Oh yeah, Rob has one of those <laughs> robo <laughs> I, I robots. <laughs> I I robots. Is- I'll get on. I'll get on my phone. I'll go, Sherry. I'm vacuuming today. <laughs> She's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of women and okay. or men, but uh, women who use sex as a weapon like if you don't do this you don't do that you're not going to get this <clears throat> yeah i've been in relationships where that's happened and uh it doesn't it never ends well never no. one gets codependent you <clears throat> depend on it and then you hate each other but you still come home because you still want to do that you know still want to have mm-hmm. sex and uh yeah. you have sex but when you're not you fight the whole time and it is horrific terrible terrible thing yeah, yeah. 
you start to live only. That's got to be draining. Yeah, it's yeah. not good. Yeah. Definitely toxic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Going right, back so to what Zach look- said, um, you know, if you keep you keep it spicy it will never get old nothing will get old if you have a really good connection yeah if you keep doing the same thing over and over i guess that but if you keep spicing it up and getting creative i think mm-hmm. it just gets better and better that's my opinion well suppose okay you're fighting okay and one of you is withholding sex yep and then one of you goes outside the marriage and has sex but it really didn't mean anything it was just the physical act of it yeah how would you and could you forgive that person? Uh, mm. Well, usually from that perspective, women have the control in that department. Guys, so I'm, th- I'm thinking the woman's holding back the sex, the guy goes and ventures out because that's usually the case more than likely. Um, unacceptable without a... F- Game, uh, I mean, you can work it out, but I mean, if the guy does that, I think he's shooting off a leg and might have to end up mm-hmm. finding a, a new girl because that's I that's I don't agree with that. He shouldn't definitely yeah. not do well, that. What about what about if there's so much time invested in it, say a 30 year marriage and uh, Ooh, somebody went tough. outside the marriage and had relations? Um, what would you do? Rob, answer that one. <laughs> well, th- there's, a, there's a problem in the first place if that's happening. So, yeah. right. Um, mm-hmm. If you're, I'd have to say, if you're having trouble at 30 years, yeah. you need to go get some coaching or some counseling before mm-hmm. that does happen. Yeah. And I mean, if you can at least out loud say, I feel like we have an issue here. Either something's going to, I'm going to slide off or something, or we need to get some coaching or something because. If you're getting to that mm-hmm. point, you know, yeah, yeah, something's okay. wrong, and you yeah. need something needs to intervene <laughs> before yeah. that okay. happens, you know. But uh, if anybody's having that scenario and stuff, at yeah. least put it on the table. We have a problem, even if you don't want to talk about it. Mm-hmm. And if you're thinking of straying or something, if you guys can convince yourselves to go talk to somebody, that's all I can say. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I, I communication <clears throat> is key. Yeah. 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 That's 30. Which, is, which is more important, physical intimacy or emotional intimacy? Ooh. Which is more important? Oh. I'm going to tell you what. Mm. Physical is what starts it off. I and mean, emotional was, is, is where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> physical is what begins. Mm-hmm. You begin with that, and then as you go, you start. Okay. To, the emotional starts to, you know, transform and become more apparent. But yeah, if, if you're not attracted to that person. You might as well not be together. It doesn't make sense, you know? Which which should come first when you're starting a relationship? Physical intimacy or emotional intimacy? Um, I guess it all depends on what you're looking for, but attraction has to be there. You have to think that person is attractive. You have to. I mean, it's but just... But that's not, not intimacy, Derek. That's, 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 that's chemistry. Yeah. I'm talking about physical intimacy to show that you love somebody you sure. want to be with just that one person and show your love mm-hmm. for them okay. um but which which comes first to make a relationship work physical intimacy or emotional intimacy well you can almost look at it as a plant is when you're first yeah. meeting you're, you're kind of just seeding everything yeah. and then as you get to become uh, you start to grow together suddenly all these leaves start coming out like emotions mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff so um, I think it does a lot of times start out physical, but I think when you're young, if I can remember correctly, I met Sherry when I was seven yeah. <laughs> and went through school with her and all that stuff. But yeah. I mean, there is, we were building a uh, relationship too, mm-hmm. but I mean, obviously the physical was there too, but yeah. uh, um, each step of the way, almost like each year, it was something new we discovered about yeah. something we liked, and it kept blooming. Yeah. Um, but it does start out that way. Zach says emotional. I, I mean, I. he says you have to want that desire to <clears throat> s- for one another. So, I, I mean, oh, that's so tough, Helen. Uh, but Well, let me ask you this. I've this had is both an ways. interesting that's question, too. That's I've got another tough. question. Okay. Oh, please. Um, now, all four, all four of us can choose to answer this question or not. Uh, 
but how long did you wait before you had a physical relationship with your significant other right now? <laughs> wow. That's oh man, oh, Lord. Here we go. <laughs> Everybody go because <laughs> I'm going last. <laughs> Okay, I'll go first. Go ahead. I made my uh, current boyfriend wait four months. Okay, not and bad. And he was, and one reason he's still around is because he was a gentleman okay. and kind and didn't push. And uh, <clears throat> he, 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 and I, you know, we talked about it and everything like like that. Okay. But he was a gentleman at um, every step of the way. Gotcha. So, That's yeah. good you talked about it because at least he knew what was going on. If you don't oh, yeah, talk it about very it, upfront. that's what makes it but a I, problem. But you know what, Derek? I have made that mistake when um, yeah. I've uh, been physical too soon, and that didn't work either. It and ruins it. I had a great time, but mm -hmm. I really didn't get to know the person. Exactly. And that's the difference, I think, um, yeah. that I didn't get to know the person well enough to have a long-term relationship with that person that I got uh, physical with early on. So it was a lesson. Exactly. And the yeah. last right. boyfriend before that, I made him wait six months. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's situational, but big time. I think each person's different. Each yeah. uh, situation's different, too. Mm -hmm. You know, you, sometimes you, you... Sometimes you just know. Yeah. yeah. It's true. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I don't fault anybody for if it works for them right off the bat. Lucky them. I say go yeah. for it, you lucky people. <laughs> oh, go I, ahead, I go ahead Lisa. You, go the, ahead. The comfortability factor when you're first with somebody that you've never been with. Mm -hmm. um, were uh, this is I don't know if this is going to be too personal. Uh, were you nervous? Was I nervous? Yes. I don't remember, but I would tend to think yes, knowing me. Because, you see, know, okay, is my stomach flat holding my stomach? Okay, wait, what about this? What about that? What about this? Yeah. Yeah. See, that's just the thing. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just use an example. I, I, sure. was, I was married for 22 years. So, you know, it's just a lot of my life. You know, I'm only 45. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I probably, and, I, and, you know, your body changes after children. Yeah. Remember something, everybody. Um, I probably still up to a certain point was very uh, self-conscious of myself with certain things when um, I m was with my current fiance now my 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 love mm -hmm. um, I never felt any of that yeah I just I was very very comfortable so it happened so I think quick. every situation <laughs> every partner that you have you know yeah. in, in your lifetime is just yeah. it's, when you know like you, you said when you know you just know yeah yes and I agree we're all adults mm -hmm. here and uh, when I, I mean, there is no time limit. I mean, honestly, I mean, I, yeah. But I know, a, I can tell you this, respect does get lost sometimes when it's done too quickly and can yes. affect the relationship and the way you kind of look at that person. So you need to be careful yes. with each one. Well, an, another reason why I, I did make him <laughs> wait, because Zach just said, Jesus, I saw that. Saint, four months. <laughs> <laughs> that was very funny. That's why I was laughing a little bit ago. I looked at Zach. I was like, "Oh man, <laughs> way to go, but, Zach!" But here's the thing: I met him online. Okay. And uh, that was, you know, I didn't know him locally. Yeah. Uh, that makes back, a big you know, difference. Background check didn't come in yet. <laughs> uh, that's exactly right. Yeah. And yep. so, therefore, I did have to take. A certain amount of time to really get to know him because also there are liars out True. there and scammers Big and time. everything else yeah. and as I said he was uh, Zach he was really wonderful about it and um, didn't have a problem with it or at least he didn't tell me he yeah <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah he was a good guy he but is a good guy with Lisa's so, she knew I mean she knows the guy from her childhood I you know I think it's a different thing you know with yours with that your guy, you didn't know him at all, so I think that's the smart move, you know? See, yeah. the thing is, Derek, I, he and I were not in the same circle of friends. Oh, he gotcha. and I never gotcha. hung out outside of school at all. But did you, like, you knew of him, you know, right? You knew who he was. I knew him. And, okay. I, you know, okay. Yeah, I knew him yeah. from school and stuff, you know, pass him in the hallways, be in the same class or something like that, but we never connected yeah. at all yeah. throughout 
school and then life happened and sure. we reconnected you know three years ago but I felt he he's he says the same thing too sure I felt like I knew him a lifetime yeah yeah oh that's beautiful which is that's cool crazy it's because rare. I really didn't yeah. it's, it, I really didn't you know but I but I did at the same time so I just <laughs> when you know I have been a lifetime <laughs> Like, well, now, like, Rob, you're with your, your, the love of your life since you were seven years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you, you know, you really know your wife and your wife really knows you. Yeah. You know, there's, is that deep, deep connection. Yeah. You we know? don't have to talk Do you believe in soulmates? <laughs> I, I definitely do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Big time. I mean, I'm, I'm going to take that. I knew um, at seven if something was good. Yeah. Wow. So you knew at seven it was great. <laughs> it was like a glow. Right? I don't know what oh. it was. <laughs> but, but you know what? I, I, about soulmates, I think there's soulmates in uh, friends. Um, sure. I have several girl soulmates, um, the people I've grown up with. I think Lisa is one of my soulmates because she uh. and I we talked about, oh, I love you. Um, but she and I... Uh, clicked. She walked into the room when we were at uh, WLIMY, mm -hmm. and uh, she walked in the room. I said, "Hey!" and she yeah. said, "Hey!" Nice. And we had only known each other. She was on the monitor, and you know, I was on on the mic, you know, right in the studio. And she she was in Florida, and we met, and we just went, <laughs> and and you know, and through it has become you know a wonderful close relationship where yes. you know we talk almost every day, mm -hmm. and. Uh, that's a nice thing. So I have a lot of soulmates. Uh, I have a love soulmate, and I have um, sister from another mister soulmates. Yep. And I'm I'm blessed that way. I have a lot of good ones. And actually, one of my uh, sisters from another mister just tuned in. My sister in law. Hey Renee, she's uh, she's a good soulmate too. What's up, Hi Renee? Renee? How you doing? Hi <laughs> Renee. Is, so she is um, watching from Texas. So oh, that's nice. pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, girlfriend. I'll see you soon. <laughs> but anyway, um, there are so many. Um, you can have so many soulmates, and it, it doesn't have to be a love soulmate. Um, it can be your friend soulmate, mm -hmm. uh, but also people that you can fight with. I consider a soulmate as somebody you can have a knockdown drag out with. Yeah, and then say, okay, what's for lunch? Exactly, and, and you yeah. go forward. You don't turn your back on them. You don't leave them. You don't walk that's, away. And I yeah. think that's really, really important as well. Totally. That's uh, so. the, my my one my one friend Leslie. Um, mm -hmm. She's she's that one. Uh, she uh, she's been my friend in every stage of my life. Mm -hmm. You know, from seventh grade. So, um, you know, we 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 actually we we fight like sisters. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I can go weeks without calling her or she calling me, you know, she's got children, she's busy, I'm busy. And mm -hmm. we could pick up the phone, you know, and we actually, I'm right. going to say it, we have a, a couple of unresolved uh, issues, mm -hmm. uh, but we're, we, we oh. remain friends, you That's know, cool. and we, we talk and Probably stuff, so we're still connected. Um, she's probably that one friend that I'm going to grow old with and we're going to hit people with our canes, yeah. you know, so. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You'll be, you'll be pushing me in the wheelchair, dear. So. We're going to be ghost, we're yeah. going to be ghost friends and we're going to like haunt to everybody. I kind of like, <laughs> I mean, that's what I like about radio. Yeah. Is radio is a great example of showing how people can be on the same crew together. Mm-hmm having a debate yeah. or talking about different subjects or different even generational things. Sure. And at the end of the day, you go, great show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, even if you had differences. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah. that's how life is. Exactly. That's how it should be, is be able to have all these different yeah. views. Totally. And, and, I, I, and at the end of the day, you go, wow, that was a great discussion. Right. <laughs> Hel Helen and I, we've had, you know, even, I mean, I'm not a big, big, you know, I won't get into politics. I'm not a big political person. You know, I, I, I never was. I'm never going to be. Mm -hmm. Um we we're not on the same page with that sometimes but we accept and appreciate mm -hmm. both sides of the fence me too and well that's the kind of friend you want and, yeah. and not even just political stuff but i think there's been like maybe one or twice one or two times that something has come up that we disagreed but we we handle it like friends should handle it and i think 
that's important in any relationship, whether it be a friend or a spouse. Yeah, definitely. Well, you know, let, now let's take this one step further Ooh. about respect, uh, respect in relationships. Uh, you know, when you disagree with somebody, there uh, are people that will go right for the jugular and get nasty right oh, away, God, which yeah. actually, you know, that. and that just blows me away that yeah. people can't agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about a story that we talked about yesterday yesterday about that little um the person the kid that didn't make the cheerleading and the school mm -hmm. said she's going to be put on the squad all inclusive okay right. so lisa wrote a post today and about it and uh i took the devil's advocate side about it uh -oh. <laughs> and man did people get did people get mad at me oh yeah and, <laughs> oh you know that's fine but I, yeah. I and one woman said you you've missed the point. I said I haven't missed the point. I'm talking about another. Uh, I'm paraphrasing what I said, but right. I'm talking about another side just to create a dialogue. And boy, you know, initially people just get nasty about it. And I'm going to take it one step further. The F word. Everything is the F word, and it's I think it's start it's starting to lose its strong flavor of your effing fierce, your effing this, your effing that. Uh, after a while, it's just, it, it loses its punch. Yeah. How do you guys feel about that? What do you think? Well, if they're using that word a lot, they've already lost the uh, the debate. Basically, yeah. I mean, if you have to use that, it means you can't intelligently uh, put on a good debate. Yeah. You so, lost. Well, now, um, I, I disagree with that, that I think you can... Uh, it's an int you can say people use it to show how how strongly and emotionally they feel about something and i think in that context it works yeah. mm -hmm. but at the same point uh i think it gets used too much yeah. and mm -hmm. um, there's yeah. the there's the book series i'm doing with my group is um the subtle art of not giving an f <laughs> and it's a wonderful book it actually it's is a good book my, my wife is reading it, is it? Yeah, and i watched it's the seminar it's so book. funny it's about it's got a lot of law of attraction stuff in it mm -hmm. but at the same point uh just very quickly life is a series of problems when you solve one problem you'll be happy but then another problem comes and you're going to be happy once you solve all the problems that's not quite quite in a nutshell but it gives you the basic premise of it mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and yet everything in the um every other page is f this f that f this and after a while what we had the first part two of the meetup and initially in the meetup everybody was saying well we don't give an f and we're not saying f and everything by the end of the meetup the f bombs were flying <laughs> oh, boy. because it lost its punch because nobody right. cared anymore but, uh, you know, people were getting mad at me on, on Facebook about this yeah. post. And I thought, I, didn't, oh, I haven't, I haven't addressed it yet. I haven't, I, and I, and I plan to, but I was actually going to talk, talk to you first about it. Um, I, I, cause you know, I'm all about kindness. Yes. I do, I do appreciate kindness. I think we should all be kinder to people mm -hmm. in general, because nobody knows what somebody else is going exactly. through. Exactly. Exactly. And sometimes we forget, like if somebody does something to us and you're like, you know, why did they do that? Blah, 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 blah. We don't, not that it makes it right for anybody to be mean or nasty to somebody else, but I do try once in a while to be like, okay, well, maybe they woke up and, 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 their, and their cat passed away. Like we don't know what people's plates are because yeah. everybody yes. has a full plate. So with that in mind, I was thinking about the original post that I had posted and it was about this cheerleader in New Jersey mm -hmm. who um, she didn't make the team she tried out like I'm I'm I remember I have four kids I'm I'm I, I'm more like the rub dirt on it and get over it yeah mom yeah. so understand that background <laughs> tough love um, yes, yes. yes. Um, and you know I the mom complained and now everybody's gonna make the team and I I wholeheartedly disagree. Yeah. I think what the mom did was wrong. I think that, and it was on it was on the news yesterday morning. I did try to find it quick, but it, my mind is just everywhere, and I didn't really dedicate time to finding the actual video. <laughs> I, I when I watched the girl, the teenage girl, standing in front of the board at the school with tears coming down her face because she didn't make the team and she worked hard. N no, you didn't make the team. 
Yeah. You didn't work hard enough. I I believe in that because I have, you know, I have th- three teens that are all 18, 17, 16. Mm-hmm. You know, so I had to be uh, tough when yeah. they were little. I oh, want yeah. them to be really good uh, kids growing up. I don't want them. They're good. They're gonna fly and go into society. I don't want them to be. Oh, I didn't get my way, and I'm gonna cry, and now I'm gonna get my way. I don't yeah. believe in that. Totally. So I think the kindness is is separate from my original post. Yeah. But I I know what you're saying, and I and I knew mm-hmm. where you were going, so I. I understand because I know you and I, I know where what your premise was for that mm-hmm. and I did I think we talked about it briefly yesterday before the show yeah. started yesterday I said mm-hmm. I said pretty much what I said you know like I'm I, I the mom was wrong the kids should mm-hmm. not be on the team yeah. she needs mm-hmm. to work harder yeah. you, you mm-hmm. want something you you get hungry for life mm-hmm. and you work for it and um, I, I'm just t- I'm, I'm tough that way and people yeah. may not agree with me you know, yeah. I'm sure there was a, quite a few people that didn't agree with what I what I posted or with this mom or whatever. Um, you know, you just the generation that we have today is so different from when I mean, not I'm not perfect, but growing up, we didn't. Not everybody got a trophy. Exactly. Not everybody made the team. Yeah, and it and it was okay. You survived it. Because yeah. you tried out again, and if you True. made it the next time, mm-hmm. you made it great. You worked harder. You got it. Yeah, um, it makes you stronger. You know, so yeah. I, I understood where you were coming from. I was well, actually going to, yeah. You know, I was trying to create a dialogue because yeah. if everybody agreed, which everybody was agreeing, then there was no there there was no dialogue. So yeah. I did that. But boy, people got. I'm getting a butt whooping lately. <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> Well, oh, kind of, I, I know, and and I, I, you know, I love you. I, but I, I was, I was thinking, all right, kindness. This isn't about kindness. Yeah. It wasn't. You know, okay. it just was right. to me. To me, it, it was this. This girl should not be on the team, and I don't think. And then and to take that a step further, and I put it in my post. You know, my daughter was a cheerleader. Yeah. And you know, it is because she, the concussion clinic told me cheerleading is the number one sport for concussions more wow. than football and i was astonished i was like you gotta be kidding me I thought it was, and, I thought it was um, running a radio station you know, and she keep had going two Damn. Concussions, <laughs> and if you're on the team and you're you're not at your peak and you really didn't make it on yeah. your own and now everybody's just going to be on the team well you know it's a dangerous sport so if, if you're a flyer and you don't and you don't know what you're doing, and somebody else doesn't know really what they're doing. You know, and then people are going to get hurt, and yeah. then what? Yeah, school's going to get, you know, sued. Yeah. yeah. Well, so. I think this is interesting. I want to ask Rob and Derek, um, how do you feel about this? Now we're, we're I'm taking a different tack to this. Okay. Is and I don't agree with this. So, um, you know, I'm I'm with Team Lisa on this, believe it or not. But again, I was trying to open some dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> so, Trying to open some dialogue. Um, <laughs> dialogue. Women firefighters. Yeah. I don't agree with it. So I really, really, I actually. Oh, I'm, hang ooh. on, hang on. <laughs> they have to do the same thing a man does. Yeah. Okay. Right. They shouldn't have allowances for, you know, you're a petite little thing. Okay. Yeah. And if you're walking into a house and looking at a 250 pound man and you can sling over his shoulder, more power to you. I'm there. But if you don't accept it. <laughs> Lisa, I know, accepted. Lisa, I know you could give me a case of whoop ass in two seconds, so I'm good with that. But the thing is, is I don't agree with the allowances that people that you know fire departments will make. Well, she's a woman, and so she shouldn't be doing. The, you know, she should get an allowance for this or that. I think do the same thing as a man's going to do. Yeah. So I, I, it kind of goes along that line that allowances should not be made. But nobody gave me a chance because I was trying to start a dialogue. But anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you know, if I was in a burning house and something was going on, I wouldn't care for the woman or a guy that was saving my ass. Oh, man. <laughs> I'd just be glad to see him. <laughs> well, Helen, this yeah. is funny you brought that up because Zach's actually a firefighter. So I don't know if he wants to answer that. <laughs> hey, Zach, what do you think? But, Seriously, uh, let us know. Yeah, let uh, us know what's up. I, I, you know, I've also met some women, and I'm afraid of them. Yeah, kick met, your butt. I've met some women <laughs> firefighters too. that are tough. I mean, yeah. But, oh, but then, don't, 
don't get me wrong. They no, have no, to be no. in good physical oh, shape. Oh, yeah. Oh, they but, are. You know they're going to be. You know, but from Rob's very thing, good physical if shape. I'm in a burning house, you know who I want yeah. to pick me up and take me out of the house? It's some big muscular dude that I know can take me out of the house. Because, <laughs> yeah, we are kind of big people. But yeah. at the same time, I got a feeling that girl would find some way. I mean, a burning house, you got seconds. I There's no way. I'd still trust her. Yeah, I don't know well, about that. I would rather can, have. Can I say? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Before we go any further, this is no disrespect to any female Absolutely firefighters. Not. We oh, love definitely. what you do. We thank you for your service and all that other kind of stuff. Yeah, so for God's sake, don't yeah. Don't getting mad at us and, you know, come and <laughs> throw eggs at my house or anything Zach like that. Zach said no okay? comment. Yeah, I figured he wouldn't comment <laughs> on it. Yeah, that's Seriously, good I mean no disrespect. I am just, yeah. you know, a big I, weenie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think... I, I actually admire tough women. No, me I mean, too. I think it's attractive. I yeah, mean, I, mean, but I think it's great that in <laughs> firefighting or uh, being a police you, officer or Coast Guard and military. Yeah. I think it's great. See, I what I would and I wish I would have thought of it a long time ago. I only have one daughter, thank God. But um Me too. I would have liked to have been taught this. Yeah. I think it's good during the school age years to have mandatory courses in school that teach you how to you know, uh, change a tire on your car, you know, yeah. do certain things that typically in society is a, is a man thing, but, um, you know, just so you're, you're more, I like strong yeah. kids so, yeah. growing into strong adults. So they're prepared. Yeah. I made my daughter yeah. do all that. Yeah. Rob made his daughter do all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I remember yeah. we talked about. We that. even worked on a bird farm. She she had to work, help build cages and <laughs> run tractors, really? and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it didn't That's matter. Awesome. She had to pick right. it up. Yeah, yeah. But I I'm, really, I'm, I'm a weenie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can do things. I I one time I'm gonna tell you, I, I I think somebody I had my car. It was it was my Jeep Wrangler on the side of the road because we had another car in the driveway. So it was on the side of the road. I I go outside and. Both windshield wipers were disconnected off of my truck, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm like, what are the chances? Like, somebody did that to my yeah, car. Yeah. So now I'm like, I'm not asking any man to help me. <laughs> I Googled YouTube, and I figured it out. It took right. me 45 minutes. Hey, you got it, though. It's not bad, actually. I mean, really. If you've never done it before. Yeah. Yeah. So Zach and says... It was it. Oh, go, go ahead, go ahead. No, it's it, and it was weird on how like they go on, and they snap in and stuff. It was yeah. just the whole thing was weird, and I'm like, I, I really actually felt stupid. I'm like, maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe no, they're <laughs> tough. Just don't understand. They're tough. But it they took are. me time. Yeah. You know. But you're right, though. I mean, th I mean, I've had issues with windshield wipers, and um, I mean, I'm not very. I, mean, I I have Sherry change them. <laughs> <laughs> you do. No. <laughs> Are there certain things that you do in your home, Rob, that, you know, Sherry's like, I'm not doing it. That's yeah. your job. Kill spiders. Yeah. Oh, Kill I don't blame her there. I'm yeah. right there with you. Um, <laughs> so, you know, the, in, in uh, the next um, module, which will be in a couple of minutes here, by the way. Yeah. Um, I'm not shutting off the stream for anybody that's watching right now. Yeah, we're staying on. But we're just going to do a quick, like, 30-second little bleep. Yep. And then uh, we, we're going to be using that for editing Mark yeah, and we're, stuff. Yeah. And so this is part two and then part three. But yeah. what I want to talk about is roles. Okay. Um, for um, There's old, old roles of how things used to be and new roles of things. And I think that would be a really good uh, debate thing here. <laughs> well, in the next module yeah. okay <laughs> but yeah sounds good to me so nobody leave here we're, yeah. we're coming right back on in 30 seconds but we'll let you know when we're going to do the switch yeah not quite yet but uh um i know uh i'm not sure she's still on there but i want to say hello to melissa which is my daughter-in-law yeah and oh, uh, hello melissa what's up melissa oh, yeah melissa. so she's like what's my what's my uh Fa uh, so be, I guess I'm father-in-law. <laughs> What's my father-in-law doing at a love and relationship show? <laughs> it's like, I'm the funny daddy on the panel. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, uh, yeah, anyway, so it was nice to see you on there. And yeah. uh, Zach, uh, I want to make sure and say, Zach, thank you so much. You're bringing up some great stuff. Yeah. yeah. And anybody else that gets a little hungering yeah. to kind of add something to this conversation, uh, we will be going on for another hour. This stream is not stopping. It's yeah. just going to have a little quick little bleep in it so I know where to edit it. Yep. So this is part two. And we're going to be moving on to part three, and I'm just going to do a quick little switch to some music okay. for about 15 seconds, and then we're going to come right back on again, and we'll have a blue screen, <laughs> not orange. We're going to lose Lisa's orange. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right. All right, so I'll here we share, go. This is going to be a here. quick quick little break. Okay. Hey, thank you so much for listening to part two of Love and Relationships. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. Till next time, bye now.